How's it going everybody? In this video, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the older variation of how to set up a VPLS design, a manual VPLS design, where we use the older syntax, where we use the L2 VFI command and not the L2 VPN CLI, where it's more modular, where we're gonna tie the bridge domain underneath the VFI and go underneath the service instance and tie the bridge domain to the interface level. We haven't done any of that stuff yet. So I'll do a rather simple design where we'll go underneath and we'll do a uh, configuration where we focus on a setup where it's relatively straightforward. So I'm not gonna go into a ton of detail as to what that is because you've seen a bunch of them already. So we're just gonna set it up to get it operational and go from there. So there are, uh, there are ways of adding in redundancy and advanced capabilities to the pseudo-wire. So we could do a pseudo-wire class and we could tie redundancy to that and do group switchover and a bunch of other stuff. Um, you've seen that done earlier. So really the only concept that you would need to be familiar with is when instead of going underneath the L2 VPN context, or I'm sorry, X-Connect context, you'd be underneath the L2 VPN VFI context. So I know there was a question about that. So that's it. So. Um, let's go ahead and just get started on the config. So the way we're going to go do this is on the CLI, we'll do a simple design. We're going to go and set this up on 1, 5, and 7 and get that guy squared away. So we'll start on CSR1, we'll go to global config, we'll go underneath the interface and we'll say gig3 and we'll type in service instance is going to be uh, 100 and then ethernet. And we're going to type encapsulation.1q 100 and then we'll type in the bridge domain. In this case here will be 100. So pretty straightforward stuff. Then we're gonna have to go underneath the um, L2 VFI. Actually, let me get out of the interface. L2, and you have VFI, and then you have the word. We're gonna just call this uh, 100, and then we're calling this manual. Okay, now we go underneath here, we have to type in a VPN ID of 100, and then we're gonna specify the neighbor. So we'll say, neighbor, in this case here we'll type in 10.0.0.7 and we'll do um, 100 and then we'll do 17 because the first portion of the, the 100 portion is going to be the configuration and or the, the, the VPLS ID, the VPN ID and then 17 will be the pseudo wire but we need something to be unique. So 117 makes it you know easy to differentiate as to who we're talking to. So we're going to do that, and then we have to specify encapsulation as MPLS. Then we're going to come back over here. We're going to do uh, this to five. So this will be 115. Pretty straightforward stuff. And then uh, and there was another question uh, that came in that was, when are you going to do this on XR? And I will be doing. We'll do an XR specific variation coming up, but I'm not trying to like make hour, hours long videos. So we'll take a look at XR here and in, in a video coming up. So that's basically all we have to do. And then the last thing we have to do is tie the bridge domain of 100 here and hit the enter key. That's pretty much it. And you can see it changes from down to up. Pretty straightforward. You just have to make sure the bridge domain gets tied underneath the VFI and underneath the, the service instance and you're in good shape. So then we're gonna go over to seven and do the exact same thing. So do show run interface gig three, interface, or I'm sorry, uh, yeah, we'll go gig three. Interface gig three, no shut it. And then we'll type in service instance 100 ethernet, encapsulation.1q 100. And then we're gonna say the bridge domain of 100. Pretty straightforward stuff. And then we're gonna type in L2 VFI 100 and manual. We'll type VPN ID of 100, VPN ID, one of these days I'll get it right, and then neighbor of 10.0.0.1, and then we'll type in the pseudo wire ID, which is gonna be 117, and then encapsulation MPLS. And we'll do the same thing with five. So on five, we'll do a uh, five, and we'll do a 57. And then we're gonna type in a bridge dash domain of 100. And that should bring uh, our VPN connectivity up, which it does. And then we're gonna go to router five, and we're gonna go, go to global config, and we're gonna type in 
do show run interface gig three. We'll type in interface gig three service instance 100 ethernet and encapsulation dot one Q of 10 or uh, 100. Is that what I said? 100? I can't remember what I typed in. Encapsulation dot one Q 100. That's right. Um, 100 and then bridge domain 100. Exit out of that and then we're going to go and I'll create a couple interface pseudo wires. So interface pseudo wire of 115 because I believe that's what I had this guy configured as 115. Yep. And then we'll type in the, uh, the VCI, uh, this guy right here, and we'll type in the encapsulation is MPLS, the neighbor is uh, 10.0.0.1 and then the VCID, in this case here, will be 100, 115, or 115. And then we'll exit out, and we'll go up to global config, and we'll grab this guy, and we'll grab this guy, he'll, see, he'll be 57, and then we'll go capsulation MPLS, and then this one will be 57, but it'll be to seven. Exit out of that, and then we're going to go to the L2 VFI 100 manual, and we'll type in uh, the VPN ID of 100, and then we specify the neighbor. In this case here, will be well, actually in this case here we can't do. That's, that's right, I forgot. So I'm I'm accustomed to doing the uh, L2 VPN context where I can call a member of a pseudo wire, so I don't have the luxury of doing that here. So I'll simply type in here uh, just the neighbor of 10.0.0.1 and then the VCID is going to be 115 and then encapsulation is MPLS and the same thing with uh, 7 and then it'll be uh, 57 and then okay so do show run interface pseudo wire 115 we'll just pull this guy out and then we'll go and pull 57. And then we'll do L2 uh, VFI uh, 100 e and then manual. And then VPN ID 100. That's a force of habit now, right? And then we're going to specify the neighbor of 100 or uh, 10.0.0.1 and the VCID of 115 encapsulation MPLS. And we'll do 7. And we'll do 57. And then bridge domain 100. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Okay, cool. So now that's all squared away. Now we have to go to router 1 over here. So R1. And we're going to go to global config interface gig 0 slash 0 dot 100. And we're going to type encapsulation dot 1q 100. IP address is 10.1.100. Um, actually, let's put 10.100. Yeah, that's fine. 10.100.1. Um, no, I like it this way. 100.157.1 slash 24. And then we're going to go over to router 4. And we'll go to do show IP interface brief. Uh, interface gig 0 slash 0 dot 100. Encapsulation dot 1q 100. IP address of 10.100.157.1. Uh, 4 slash 24 and then we're going to go to router 5 and we'll go to um, interface gig 0 slash 0 do show IP interface brief interface gig 0 slash 0 dot 100 encapsulation dot 1q 100 IP address of 10 100 157 dot 5 slash 24 and there we go. So now I should have everything complete. If I go back to CSR1 and I jump out of global config and show bridge domain one bridge dash domain 100, I have connectivity up, right? Everything looks pretty good in terms of what it's doing, which is what I want it to do. And then if I go over to router one and I do a ping to 10.100.157.4, I should be able to ping it. I can. If I ping 5, I should be able to ping 5 as well. 
and I can't. So let's go back to CSR1, hit the up arrow. This doesn't really change a whole lot, but that's how you do the manual version. Pretty straightforward stuff. You just, just remember that when you're configuring it, it's the show run interface gig three that you make sure that you pot, tie the bridge domain underneath the service instance and show run section L2 that you tie the bridge domain underneath the, the VFI. As long as you've married those two together, you're in good shape. So would I suggest you be comfortable with this? I, I would, absolutely. So um, make sure you can do both ways because you would hate to be in a scenario where you haven't done it and you need to do it and that would be a bad day. So um, don't be like me and just focus on just one. Know both variations of the config, wink, wink. So um, that's that. So that's as far as I'm gonna take this video. So we validated that things are working and that's really what we need to do. Until next time, guys, if you have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section below. Until next time, take it easy.